the human eye, a marvel of biological engineering that has puzzled scientists for centuries. How could something so intricate, so perfectly designed, come into existence through mere chance and random mutations? The answer, my friends, is simple. It couldn't. Let's dive into the extraordinary complexity of the human eye. Picture this, a spherical structure, barely an inch in diameter, yet capable of distinguishing between millions of colors, adjusting to varying light conditions in an instant and providing us with crystal clear, three-dimensional images of the world around us. Astonishing, isn't it? Now, let's break down this incredible organ. The cornea, a transparent layer at the front of the eye, bends light as it enters. Behind it, we find the iris, that colorful part of your eye, which controls how much light enters through the pupil. Then we have the lens, constantly changing shape to focus light onto the retina at the back of the eye. But here's where it gets truly mind-boggling. The retina contains over 120 million photoreceptor cells, rods and cones, that convert light into electrical signals. These signals then travel through the optic nerve to the brain, where they're processed into the images we see. All of this happens in a fraction of a second, every single second of our waking lives. Now, proponents of evolution would have you believe that this astoundingly complex system arose through a series of random genetic mutations in natural selection. They claim that over millions of years, simple light-sensitive cells gradually evolved into the sophisticated eyes we have today. But let's think about this logically. For the eye to function, every component must be present and working perfectly. What good is a partially formed eye? An eye without a cornea would be useless. An eye without a lens couldn't focus. An eye without photoreceptors couldn't detect light. The evolutionary process would need to simultaneously develop all these intricate parts and have them work together flawlessly for the eye to provide any survival advantage. The probability of this happening by chance is so astronomically low that it borders on the impossible. It's akin to throwing a pile of electronic components into the air and expecting them to fall into place as a fully functioning smartphone. Absurd, isn't it? But wait, there's more. The human eye doesn't just see. It sees with incredible precision. Our eyes can detect a single photon of light, the smallest possible unit of light. We can distinguish between 10 million different colors. We can see a candle flame from 30 miles away on a dark, clear night. Evolution expects us to believe that random mutations produce this level of precision. It's laughable. And let's not forget about the eye's ability to adapt. In bright sunlight, our pupils constrict to let in less light. In darkness, they dilate to gather more light. This happens automatically, without conscious thought. How could such a sophisticated automatic system evolve by chance? The more we learn about the eye, the more its complexity astounds us. Did you know that your eyes make tiny movements called saccades about three times per second? These movements prevent your visual receptors from getting too used to a steady light and going blind. Without these movements, you'd stop seeing stationary objects. How could random mutations possibly account for such a refined mechanism? Now, let's consider the eye's connection to the brain. The optic nerve carries visual information from the eye to the brain at a rate of about 10 million bits per second. That's faster than an ethernet connection. And the brain processes this flood of information in real time, constructing a three-dimensional representation of our environment. The idea that this intricate system of data transmission and processing could evolve by chance is, quite frankly, preposterous. But perhaps the most compelling argument against the evolution of the eye comes from its irreducible complexity. Remove any part of the eye and the whole system fails. It's all or nothing. The eye must have come into existence as a complete functioning unit. The alternative, that it evolved piece by piece over millions of years, defies logic and probability. So if not evolution, then what? The answer is clear, intelligent design. The eye bears all the hallmarks of a carefully crafted, meticulously engineered system. Its complexity, precision, and irreducibility point unmistakably to a supreme intelligence behind its creation. Think about it. When we see a beautiful painting, we don't assume that random splashes of paint happen to form a masterpiece. When we see a sophisticated machine, we don't believe it assembled itself by chance. 
Why then should we accept that the most intricate, precise biological machine we know of, the human eye, came about through random mutations? The evidence is overwhelming. The human eye is not the product of blind evolutionary processes, but the masterwork of an intelligent creator. Its design is so perfect, so intricate, that it puts our best technology to shame. No camera can match its abilities. No computer can process visual information as efficiently. As we conclude, let us reflect on the words of the Quran, which beautifully summarize the awe-inspiring nature of our creation. We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. Quran 41, 53. Indeed, the human eye, the eye is one of the clearest signs of divine creation. Its complexity defies evolutionary explanations. Its precision points to intelligent design, and its very existence fills us with wonder at the power and wisdom of our Creator. The next time you open your eyes, take a moment to marvel at the miracle that allows you to see. Appreciate the intricate design, the flawless function, the incredible gift of vision. For in understanding the complexity of the eye, we gain a deeper appreciation of the one who designed it. In the face of such evidence, the theory of evolution crumbles. The human eye stands as a testament to the power of intelligent design, a beacon of truth in a world often clouded by misguided theories. Let us open our eyes, not just to see, but to truly understand the miraculous nature of our creation.